हेलो हेलो हाय आपसे पहले ही बात हुआ है मैसेज में आप अभी एक घंटे पहले भी कॉल किया था आपको अगर याद हो माय नेम इज आदिल हाय एक्चुअली मेरा कॉलेज यहाँ से तीन चार घंटे दूर है मुर्शिदाबाद में और कल ही मेरा सेकंड ईयर का फोर्थ सेम खत्म हुआ है और अब कल मैं वापस भी जाऊँगा कॉलेज बिकॉज क्योंकि टीचर्स डे का से करना है सेलिब्रेशन करना है तो वहाँ वापस भी जाना है लेकिन आपका आप पर्सनली आ रहे थे आपसे वन टू वन मिलना था तो इसके लिए आए यहाँ पे घर भी मेरा यहाँ पे तो इसके पास ही प्लस एज अ कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन में भी आई एम डूइंग कॉन्टेंट क्रिएशन फॉर द पास्ट टू मंथ्स और बिफोर अपलोडिंग माई फर्स्ट रील आई एक्चुअली सेंड इट टू यू इफ यू रिमेंबर या एंड यू यू सेट कि हाँ पोस्ट कर दो स्टार्टिंग में तो होता है हेजिटेशन होता है बट आफ्टर पोस्टिंग एंड धीरे धीरे एक दो तीन चार वीडियो के बाद इम्प्रूवमेंट करते 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 अभी दो महीने में आई हैव फ्रॉम फाइव हंड्रेड सब्सक्राइबर्स टू ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स ओ वाह एंड एटीन मिलियन व्यूज इन शॉर्ट्स सो एक क्वेश्चन था आपसे कि वट इज योर टेक ऑन शॉर्ट वीडियो वर्सेज लॉन्ग फॉर्म वीडियो बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यार थैंक यू सो मच इतने दूर से आने के लिए इट रियली मीन्स अलॉट टू मी टू सी दिस काइंड ऑफ सपोर्ट जेन्यूनली इट गोज टू द हार्ट सो थैंक यू सो मच बट आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन एंड कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन योर चैनल सो स्पीकिंग अबाउट शॉर्ट फॉर्म वर्सेज लॉन्ग फॉर्म आई वन हैव अ स्मॉल क्वेश्चन विथ यू गाइज न्यू गाइज वॉच मोर शॉर्ट वीडियोज और लॉन्ग वीडियोज So as you can see, the future is short. Okay. That's his 80 million views. <laughs> so everybody is on shorts and everybody is on reels. So I think that definitely the way to move forward with respect to content is going to be short form, and that is one of the reasons why attention spans are just continuously decreasing. कि कौन लोग बड़ी books पढ़ते हैं कौन लोग छोटी books पढ़ते हैं short books only right? <laughs> so. I feel like short form content gives you a lot of uh, what do we say instant hit without a lot of long term effects whereas the bigger videos will give you something which is much more valuable and will stay with you for a long period of time but i would say that the future is short so we'll have to adjust we'll have to improvise and we'll have to make more videos with that aligns with that audience hello uh, hi so i am nilova and my me and my friends we are big fan of yours uh, so like i would like to ask you since neat pg is so close so <clears throat> you said your breakup motivated you in your neat pg so what is motivating you right now to crack neat pg and like how do you manage your time you are doing so much how do you manage all of that thank you so much so i'll answer your both your questions so first of all what is motivating me for neat pg is mostly to make a video That I cleared that thing. <laughs> I'll be very honest with you. That that is like the single biggest motivation I have. That is one of the motivations which I had in final year. I wanted to make a video. I am a doctor now, and that is what I did at the end of final year as well. So that is one of my biggest motivation. My audience, the people that have watched me make videos right from second year of MBBS. I want them to continue to you know watch the videos. as i probably become some sort of uh, bigger uh, you know post graduate in the future so that is one thing secondly again i really want to get into a good specialty into a good college so and i really want to do it in the first attempt itself so that is the two main motivating factor which i have uh, apart from that ek teesra koi hai nahi there is no break up all aspect <laughs> if you are thinking about that so these are the two things apart from that you asked me how am i able to manage so many things i'll be honest with you you might feel like uh, this person is doing most of the things on his own so that's not that's not uh, correct okay i have a editor i have two editors who edit tirelessly whenever i feel like i am very busy during my internship i have a personal assistant and a script writer who really helps churn out some of the best scripts that you guys see 
I have got my friends who help me with uh, the nitpicking of the research. So for case files episodes, if you might have uh, engaged with them, you might know they require so much effort that we have to just spend months in scripts. I remember for the AIS wala the episode one, the script was almost four months. We were just in the scripting phase itself. So that is the thing. Ki it's not one person, one man. It's a lot of people in the background who are constantly communicating with each other to bring you videos which are so high quality on a consistent basis which you will enjoy so i am not alone is what i'll answer okay i'm not doing this all alone definitely i'm managing my mbbs internship my neat pg studies alone i'm shooting alone but as much as i can delegate as much as i can give my tasks to people who can do it instead of me i'm giving the, giving it to them and that is decreasing my time spent on these tasks so if you are somebody who has a lot of tasks delegate them to people who can do better than you and you will see that your time will automatically free up so i hope i have answered your question hello lujia i wish you very good health uh, i have a question that uh, what is behind you that makes you uh, very knowledgeable very calm very gentleman and uh, you uh, been having knowledge in various aspects of life and also how and what do you see yourself at the age of 35 and 40 thank you so much yaar but <laughs> that is too much for me to accept <laughs> but uh, thank you so much i don't really have an answer for that i just strive to do good and uh, i just i'm just another student who records just videos and puts out online and people just find it relatable for some reason <coughs> So I don't think I have an answer for that. Your other question was, yeah, 30, 35 to 40 years. Where do I see myself? I probably see myself as the person who will be remembered for treating diseases and not as a person who will be remembered for making videos. So my first uh, and my you know heart has always lied with uh, becoming a doctor, and that that is something which. i that is my biggest goal in life that i want to be a good doctor i want to treat patients i want to make people smile and i want to cure the world of its problems so that is where i imagine myself probably <laughs> but the future is so unpredictable we don't really know what will happen so that has thank you hi What is your dream specialty and college and why? <laughs> so, my dream specialty as of now is uh, general surgery because uh, I really, after my surgery internship, I was uh, every day going into the OT, every day going to the OPD and managing the patients in minor OT by myself. That really ignited the surgical spark in me. Uh, and after my medicine and uh, the medical, you know, pediatrics medicine and M I C, all of that one, and I always felt like my energy was a bit drained. It was not recharged. And after general surgery postings, I always felt like I want to do one more week here. I want to spend two more weeks over here. I want to go to the O T once again. So I I feel like general surgery is a place where I would be very very enthusiastic, very very happy. i would really enjoy just waking up going to the clinic because that is what i did i did 36 hours and days uh, for my surgery unit where most people were, would just go home after 24 hours because i genuinely enjoyed that so that would be my first thing and apart from that uh, i really have not thought anything after surgery so so far the only one is there and there is no dream college there is no dream you know uh, institute which i, I just want to practice as as a general surgeon in the future if that is hi i am a great fan of your you especially your case file video are really awesome they Thank teach you. a lot um, my question is that uh, every sunday you post a video no matter what happens but the main problem with me is that if i plan something one day i will do it with proper sincerity but from the next day onwards I I am not able to maintain that. So how to maintain this consistency in any field? In yeah. Any yeah. So that's a great question. The simplest uh, way which you can use uh, to increase your consistency for anything is to get yourself an accountability buddy. Okay. If you can't travel the journey alone, 
travel it with somebody else okay so if you are feeling like uh, i want to study five arrow videos a day which most of you guys might be watching nowadays so five arrow videos if you feel like are too much for you get somebody who is your friend ask them to do to be five videos karega i'll also do five videos and is down you don't like it nobody likes it but i'll be very honest with you that the main reason i am able to get things done is because they have a deadline associated with it if i want to complete a subject by tomorrow because my posting my heavy posting is going to start from day after tomorrow i have to do it there is no shortcut to it because if i don't then that subject will forever be left just like that so the main issue is that if i if you have a good set of deadlines these deadlines will come biting you and if you feel like you are taking a break these deadlines will come and they will make you sit down and do the task before doing any sort of time pass so that is one of the ways where uh, that you know having those deadlines is really keeping me accountable towards my goals and to answer your second question how do i plan to approach my pg preparation so this is uh, i really don't have a very solid plan but i know just one thing is that i want to complete my first revision in the next 20 days which is on track to happen and then subsequently for every 45 to 30 days complete another sets of revisions so i am mostly using the revision videos and revision notes uh, as my main source for uh, you know uh, preparation because my basic concepts are already very strong from my mbbs days so that is what i am doing if somebody has uh, does not have that good grip upon the first second third final year topics strengthening them first before jumping onto the revision videos is what i would suggest otherwise questions thode bahut ho jayenge but sare nahi honge so uh, it's it's a very difficult process you know sometimes i give grand tests and my marks are not that good sometimes i give sometimes they are excellent so it's uh, always an up and down journey but i think that is going to be okay i am not really that afraid about anything it's okay if we put our efforts in the right direction things are going to turn out our way It was lovely having you among us. It's our pleasure to have you on our very first academic fest. So a big round of applause for the Karanit Bhaiya. Okay, now I will request my volunteers to stand in the central area, and I will request the participants to please sit uh, at your places. Please don't barge into the central place. So, if you have seen uh, YouTube videos, people ऐसे ऐसे. So, if you guys. Don't 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 please 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 be seated. सब लोग आ जाएंगे. It's a very wide lens. Okay. We will get everybody. Participants, please um, keep silent. Uh, Bhaiya is telling, requesting that please don't make noise. He will tell whatever he wants to so, do. So, the so please. So this is very simple. I'll be like this, and then I'll come like this, and you guys will say, I don't know, champions. <laughs> Here at CNMC, and we have an amazing, amazing crowd with me. Oh! 